Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is B. Avery here again for another trailer reaction. This one here is for Marvel's The Inhumans. Now, as far as The Inhumans are concerned, I like The Inhumans a lot, actually. They're a very unique, abnormal, obscure group of people. Very different from the X-Men with all their powers and abilities. Um, I don't know if you've heard of Marvel Knights before, but they had, like a number of years ago, they had the Straight to DVD uh, series where you know they will have like a number of stories of Wolverine or Black Panther or Thor and Loki or the externals or whatever but they have the Inhumans I like this series right here a lot uh, it's, it's pretty slow but it's kind of worth it towards the end I don't even know where you can find these maybe there's some video rental store all these used to be on Netflix but I like the Inhumans um, of course if you're a Marvel fan or if you've been following comics for the past few years uh, when an uh, when Kevin Feige uh, announced the Phase 3 slate, The Inhumans was part of that plan um, to have a theatrical movie, but that plan got scrapped, and now it's being held by the Marvel Television Division. I believe that's being overseen by Ike Perlmutter, and I don't like that guy. So I'm a little disappointed that we're not going to get a movie, but we're going to get a TV show. And to be honest with you, I am not looking forward to this series at all. It doesn't look good. It looks pretty bad. You know, a number of months ago, I saw an announcement trailer. And then like a three or four weeks ago, they released a full trailer. And, I'm, you know, they're trying to promote all this IMAX cameras. And the first two episodes are going to be blown up 70 millimeter transition back into your home. And it's going to be amazing. And when I dropped the trailer, I'm like, y'all are hyping this IMAX for this? This looks like a cheap TV show. And if you know the Inhumans, they need a real movie production budget of 100 million plus, not whatever it is for the show. But, you know, I'm going to give it a chance. I don't like to judge things by the cover. Hopefully this trailer will turn me over. But let's see. I'm, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put on these headphones and y'all can stop and listen to me talk and watch me watch the trailer. Here we go. Please go. I've been looking for you. What are we? What if I told you there's a place where people have powers like us? Locked the up. city of Adeline. And I can take you there. We're in humans. Maybe I'm foolish, maybe I'm blind. Thinking I can see through this, see what's behind. Brother, sooner or later the humans are going to find us. Got no way to I'm prove wrong. it, so maybe I'm lying. Their first course of action will be to try to destroy us. Run! I'm only human after all. We need to go to Earth now. We need to strike first. It would only lead to war. Are you speaking for yourself or for our king? over Adelan. Are you going to kill your only brother? Honor me as your new king. After all, don't put the blame on me. Never. Don't put your blame on that? me. You're just a human. Hmm, not an inhuman anymore. Maximus, that guy, I don't know his name. I don't want to look it up either. I was going to put the mic over there again. And I'm trying to do that with the headphones. Maximus is like a snake. Oh, drop the speaker. Like, he, who was a snake in uh, Game of Thrones? He, you know, he's a snake now. Maximus is like the ultimate hater, like, real talk. Like, he's like Loki times two or three or whatever. He just, hate, 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 hate. Ah, I want it all. I want it all. I'm jealous. I'm, ah, get, get, you know, wipe your nose, man. But seriously, this trailer was better. Uh, seriously, uh, something that stood out to me is like, 
and some versions of the comics their hideout is on the moon and some versions of the comics they're actually hiding off on earth and when they're on earth they're like in some remote island somewhere ducked off and they have like a force field that's invisible that uh keeps them you know hidden from the rest of the world and they end up being found by the fantastic four and that's how they're introduced in the marvel cinematic universe that's how i know them uh but i have heard of other stories like so to where their base is on the moon and going back to the fantastic four that would make sense since you know reed richards is i think the uh, smartest person in the whole marvel cinematic universe so he would be able to find them and whatever um also kind of makes sense to why they wouldn't want to do a movie because I would imagine that you would want to have Fantastic Four. Did I say Fantastic Fox earlier? If I did, excuse me. I'd imagine if you want Fantastic Four to kind of introduce them. But since 20th Century Fox owns the right to that, it's just another reason why it wouldn't work. But, um, you know, that dog that was teleporting around was Lockjaw. Um, I forgot the name of the black guy. I don't know. Um Medusa, I don't, I forgot the actress's name, or I say forgot, I don't even think I ever knew it, but her hair is like, you know, as you saw, I did like that, that was the most fa favorite part of the trailer for me, because they didn't have that in the last trailer, like her hair is like as strong as steel, or stronger, and she can manipulate it and make it grow, so if multiple people are attacking her, she could just do her hair like, whoosh, da -da 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 -da. her go everywhere and just kind of mess everybody up or whatever, so it's kind of cool, just imagine just kind of sitting there looking cool with all your hair doing everything. I don't know. I'm, I, I think that would be pretty awesome. Uh, I am <laughs> uh, looking, looking uh, forward to that. That would be pretty cool. Um, but, you know, when Maximus is talking about, hey, we need to strike first or whatever, I don't want to see no inhumans in here getting whooped because they shouldn't be getting whooped. They should be whooping people. So please don't mess it up. And please, um, you know, hell, I know Black Bolt can't talk or whatever because, you know, if he supposedly if he goes like this, well, supposedly I know if he goes, wow, you know, that destroys city blocks. Like, his voice is so destructive. And in the first, well, I don't, the first trailer, he did that, but he kind of only knocked over a car. And I'm like, he's more powerful than this guy can knock out the Hulk. And I want to see if he's going to have the, uh, is it on here? Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. I'm uh, But if you look on his forehead, there's some fork. And what he can do is the energy that comes from his vocal cords, he can channel that through the fork and have it float through his body. So one time he did that and knocked the Hulk out or whatever. So, you know, he's a pretty powerful character or whatever. So I don't want to get my expectations super high for this because I really don't want a TV show. I want a movie. And, I, you know, for some reason, the production, the budget, and the production quality on the other Netflix shows looks better than this. I don't know why. Maybe it's just a mental thing because they're like IMAX, IMAX. But we're just going to have to see. But guys, that is just my opinion for the new Inhumans trailer. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did it turn you on? Did it turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why. And still give me the thumbs up. Did I just go like this? Give me the thumbs up. Wait a minute. I don't know what I'm talking about now. I'm all over the place. Give me the thumbs up if you like this video. And if you didn't like it, that's fine. Leave me a comment below why and still give me a thumbs up. Also, since you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel. To get all the content that I have to provide, you can also go to my website, Book Market, check me out there, and also look me up on social media. And also, guys, I cannot, my most anticipated thing out of all of Comic Con is the new Black Panther trailer that supposedly will drop uh, tomorrow, not tomorrow, uh, Saturday, um, you know, during a, a Hall H panel. Like, that is my most anticipated movie in life. I was super duper excited, ecstatic when the trailer dropped June 9th during game four of the NBA Finals. I mean, seriously, I love Marvel, I love Black Panther, I love comics. I, you know, I'm a black guy and that movie comes out in Black History Month, so, you know, I would love to go to the red carpet premiere. Uh, it's a long shot, yes, but I'm going forward. You know, whether I'm on the red carpet or on the side with the fans, I'll be a happy camper, but of course, I'll be happier if I'm on the I'm on the part with the uh, with the stars and whatnot, and you can help me get there by sharing this video 1,000 times. I would really appreciate it. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in for my opinion slash reaction to the latest Marvels and Humans trailer. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brendan Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.